Zlatni gumbove, nestvarno lijepo. Yeah, where's the golden buzzer? Where's the golden buzzer now? We feel so proud. We are all here in a very big problem. We don't have any more gold. We are all here. 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 Everybody just used your golden buzzer. There is no golden buzzer. The audience has the right to, but you give it to the audience. Yeah, they gave the golden buzzer, brother. They won the golden buzzer for her. Gusto kayo mga kabayan, nandito na ako sa Croatia. Ang sida siya mo ay Rodi Televiti Ponos ni Isvi mo ay Ubitelio Filipini mo ay Ovjesto i mo ay Priyat. Dobra večer! Dobra večer! Si uzbuđena, sretna! Ja sam jako uzbuđena! Wow! She's always smiling. Ovo je više pričanja. Idemo. In return, it makes me smile. I'm a glad. She She's singing a cappella? Ooh, singing a cappella like this? Oh, it's a cappella as well. You mad woman, little girl. And it's a freaking a cappella. Bro, are we dripping balls here? What? Pause! 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 Oh, you guys have no idea the chills that I felt from the start. It's so beautiful! And I don't know if there will be uh, an instrumental that will be introduced later on. But it, it, even if it doesn't happen, I don't care. This is awesome. We can appreciate the texture of her voice, her vibrato, the emotions that she puts into the performance. Can I just say that uh, it's not the easiest thing to do, singing a cappella, especially in front of a crowd like this. And she's doing a phenomenal job. Not only that, the fact that she's fluent in Croatia and... Filipino and I'm, I'm gonna assume also English that's pretty impressive and not only that she's able to sing a traditional Croatian uh, folk song that's pretty cool <laughs> like the purest talent you can see that she's just opening her mouth she hasn't changed her posture at all and i also love that filipinos are starting to get like recognized all around the globe because usually in these types of talent shows around the world that are not like in us and uk i got goosebumps sounds like the theme of a Obviously, I don't know what she's uh, singing about, but <laughs> it looks like whatever it is, it, it really is uh, resonating with the audience and uh, it sounds like it, it's something that's very emotional, something very personal, and that a lot of the audience members are feeling it. Which is great. The reaction of the judges and the audience says it all. Like, this girl was able to grasp people's attention with the first two notes, right there, with just her voice. Just her voice, with this pose only, and her vocal cords. And yet, everybody is mesmerized. Honestly? Also, 
is that stance also culturally intertwined? It because I feel like it is. I think I think it has a lot. I think the lyr- lyrically speaking, it has a lot to do with the with uh, the effect that he had on people. Mm. But in terms of like her actual technique, I have never seen anything more courageous than that. That it takes a lot. It takes a lot to stand on a stage in front of like a bunch of people. Uh, and just do something a cappella. A cappella. Mm. She didn't have help from anything. She pitched to herself. She modulated herself. She took her. You know what's crazy, Efra? I just thought about that. She did not rush. String. Uh-huh. The Philippines is a great example of that. Even <laughs> in televised performances in the Filipino music industry, forget your in ears, mate. Fantastic. This was unique. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You can say that again. Fala, she said, thank you. Very, very impressive. It's one thing to um, be able to uh, sing in a different language, but also to be able to uh, have the emotion, uh, the emotional connection, not just from your performance, but also to the audience. It's just another thing. Very, very impressive. Yes, give her a standing ovation. She deserved it. I mean, look at the audience. They're just so emotional. Acapella too, bro. And she's willing or is able to do that with such confidence too on top of it. That's what adds to it. Also, did you notice the quietness in the audience? Like that needle would drop on the floor and you would hear that. Yeah, where's the golden buzzer? Where's the golden buzzer now? Makes me feel so proud. We are all here in a very big problem. We don't have any more than one gold buzzer. Oh, they all used their golden buzzer. Everybody just used your golden buzzer. There's no golden buzzer. What's going on? The audience has the right to, but you giving the audience one now? Yeah, they gave the golden buzzer, brother. They won the golden buzzer for her. Oh. What? There's no way. Did I? Oh, that's so sweet, bro. Crystal, Crystal, we spent all the gold gold gold. We don't have any more gold confetti. No, never in the history of the super talent has been able to get the public on this way to get someone to get it. Wow. That's wonderful. She deserves it. They found some confetti. I feel like I'm watching a movie. This is so moving that the audience is allowed a golden buzzer. But I feel like they just invent, invented it, created it here. Because the audience is just got, got up on their feet and like we want to be able to have the, uh, the, uh, the choice to give a golden buzzer as well. Title this video, when Filipinos freaking break uh, uh, Ameri- uh, br- got talent, when Filipinos break a vocal talent show? Like this is exactly what happened. Like they changed the rules of the talent show with their talent. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, but you know it's it's so beautifully done. A cappella. I'm just Vincent. blown away by the a cappella. Mm-hmm. Nobody's gonna talk about that. I, I I would say if you're watching and you're from Croatia or any of these judges or any of these people sort of watch the review from us, I would obviously encourage them to dive deeper into the Filipino music industry, right? Wow. Yes. But, I, what I would do in exchange is I'm very, I'm very quite obviously interested now, especially given the the 
the style of the song and the fact that it is sung a cappella, that must say to me that therefore the pedigree of singers in Croatia it's quite high. must be quite high because if their folk and traditional songs are to That's this demanding. level of skill, yeah. um, it happens the same in India, it happens the same in Norway, it happens the same in Sweden. It's um, true, where the folkloric music is actually so in- technically difficult that it, it takes... It demands so much from the performer. It takes a specific amount of talent and and uh, yeah. And then if you if, if you're able to coach this talent, then into more sort of pop sounds and yes. stuff, you do have yourself someone who has a very high or very pure pedigree of singing. That was a beauty to watch. That was something that I feel like takes so much bravery to be on stage and perform, but not only just perform, but perform a cappella, bro. Do it in such a way where you almost have no hiccups. It's like all confidence at such a young age to be able to do this is something that is jaw dropping, bro. You just watch it's like, oh my goodness, I can't let a talent like this just go to waste. You have have to make sure that people see this and you have to make sure that you give the credit where credit is due and you know they hit that golden buzzer thankfully it takes her i guess to the finals right that's how the golden buzzer works i'm not too sure always how it works or if i remember because it's been a while since i usually used to i used to watch it a long time ago got talent but it's been a long long time it just takes him straight there and it's so deserving someone's so talented and it was incredible and of course you know